For the second straight season, Denver is headed to the Big East Championship after a 16-9 win over Villanova. The Wildcats got out of the gate quickly, but then Denver's offensive attack took over. A very impressive first quarter by the Wildcats. A 5-3 lead. They did an excellent job with the faceoff X, moving the ball offensively, and the zone defense gave Denver fits. But Denver, with the depth of their roster and the offensive talent that they can put on the field. Strong game by Ryan LaPlante as well. In a game that had only eight turnovers by each team, Pat. Really well played game on both ends. LaPlante had 10 saves for Denver. Strong performance for Dan Willis of Villanova. The Wildcats with 17 saves. However, once Denver got rolling, especially in man up situations, they were really tough to contain. Connor Canizaro, Wesley Berg, and Eric Adamson had four goals each for Denver. Villanova committed eight penalties, which really hurt them. Denver four for seven on man up. Denver still looking, although they're not looking hard, for its first Big East loss, two years in the conference and two appearances in the championship game. And they just kept piling it on here in the fourth. Adamson, a couple man up situations. Colin Wolford getting in on the act. And as it often is, a balanced attack for the Denver Pioneers. After losing 15 to four out in Denver in the regular season, Villanova came to play well coached. They had great offensive and defensive schemes, but Denver just proved to be too much demonstrating why they are the number four ranked team in the country. Johnny Galloway, a hat trick for Villanova. So did Danny Seibel. He saw one of his tallies right there as the Wildcats tried to chip away at the Pioneers, but it will be Denver and Georgetown meeting for the Big East Championship. The Pioneers running away late, a 16 to nine semifinal victory over the Villanova Wildcats. Denver and Georgetown for the automatic qualifier in the NCAA Championship on Saturday.